Hi everyone, I'm Harry, I'm at Regatta Base Camp. I'm with the famous Mark Tucker, the head of footwear. Hello. And we're going to talk about the full range of shoes and upselling and how to go from one shoe to the other so it's to really help everyone out. Well, Mark, where do we start? Well, the first thing to say, you say about the full range, it's like, I think you can all see this is our core outdoor performance collection. We obviously have a lot of seasonal, but this is what um, this is what's in the range. All these are the money makers. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> They're certainly doing all right. Yeah. So we start down this end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is our cheapest one. Yeah, but remember, um, when that consumer comes in, is it's one of the most important things, and most of you know this anyway. But you've got to you got to speak to that consumer and understand what they're going to use the product for, where they're going, what the needs are. Um, so it's important to talk to the customer first and yeah, find and out what they're understanding, actually for. Yeah, getting an understanding. And footwear is something that you can spend up to an hour selling. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's, not, it's not as much of an impulse buy because you've got to get the right fit, um, the right function, the right size, obviously, not just the right fit. So there's a lot to, a lot to go through. Yeah. So if we make a start on, is it edge point? Yeah. First? Yeah. So edge point is the, the entry level shoe and mid. Um, and what it's got is it's a TPR outsole. So what that means, it's a thermoplastic rubber, so it's a synthetic rubber. So what you find is it's still, it's got very good traction. Um, it's, it's durable, but it's just not quite as durable as your, as your full uh, rubber. But tread pattern, and this goes for all of them, you know, the, the first point of contact on the, on, on the ground on whatever surface is the sole unit. You've got to make sure you get that right. There's many different types of, of rubber, of TPR. You've got to get the balance of traction, grip, and durability right. Um, designs in terms of muck shedding, you know, the, the chamfering, which is the angles of the, the, the lugs. So they're actually angled to allow better grip and... Well, they, there's a few different things, yeah. So it, they're angled to, to have better grip, so propulsion on the forefoot and breaking on the heel, but also uh, you want them angled a little bit so it allows that muck to shed. If you get them all vertical, um, you'll tend to find that the, the muck will attach itself and stay there. And obviously that means you can just slip over quite easily. So there's a lot of thought goes into it to, to the tread pattern, to the lug pattern and lug shape um, of footwear. But you can see something like the edge point. The idea of this is it's a low level, easy walking kind of path trail. Um, perfect for your dog walking and as Which I say, is a lot of trail. our customers isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. and especially you know the, like i say the edge point is perfect for that great price point completely waterproof you've got the full waterproof booty in there um you've got reinforcement on the toe and on the heel you've got a nice little gilly you've got the double eyelet so it is a well-featured shoe and mid cut um, and that come with a shank as well does it, it comes with a shank so the shank it's a steel shank that runs under the, the from the, the front of the heel to behind the ball of the foot oh, okay so you get plenty of flex, but the shank just gives it a little bit more rigidity. So it's not too soft underfoot and it gives your foot a little bit of stability. And so it's a great entry level waterproof boot with a lot of specs to it as yeah, well. Yeah, it's got yeah. a good spec to it. And then you can see even down to things like the toe, it's an open mesh toe. So you get that breathability and it keeps the weight down as well. All right, so the next one we move to is the Hulk. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's worth, it is worth noting that you can see the edge point of the ladies version, because we do, almost everything you see here is, is done in men's and ladies. Uh, and children's actually um but the big thing you notice on the holcomb it's more of a built-up um shoe uh, the outsole is much more it uh, does look a lot more substantial yeah than, yeah, yeah in it is. Uh, i mean what you've got you've got your, you've got a rubber outsole uh, you've got a good big aggressive look uh, tread pattern there same story in terms of the angle of the lugs um, and the chamfering to keep the you know to shed the muck um but the sole unit is just thicker i um, mean it is yeah. rubber Upper wise, you've got more filled in up, you've got plenty of protection. So there's a lot more PU overlays. Yeah, yeah. And just the, the whole thing is just more substantial. So if you're going to be going for, for longer, more um, strenuous walks on, on rougher terrain and maybe carrying 35, 45 litre pack with a bit of weight in there, then the Hulker mid or low is perfect for that. So if a customer comes in and is going to be doing the late district, would you, and they're looking at the edge point in terms of price point, is it an easy way for you to try and upsell that to the Holcomb? Yeah, it is. Yeah, for sure. So it's I mean, more, it, better at the job, wasn't it? Yeah, there's more to talk about, but there's 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 reason to talk about the features. Um, I mean, this is a good walking, light hiking shoe and, uh, yeah. and mid. Yeah. But we do have 
We've got a, a, a similar functioning shoe and boot in, in the height, and, but you can see the difference now. You can see the difference straight away. Yeah, that one looks more like a traditional walker, where that yeah. one looks more like a trainer you could wear yeah. a jeans yeah. type look. So it's more athletically inspired. It's a rubber outsole again, but it has the inspiration comes from kind of your trail running. Yeah, so um, it looks a thinner out, looks much less aggressive in terms of tread on the on the outsole. Yeah, but it, because it's so much more spread out, you'll tend to find that the muck shedding will be really good on this, and it, it keeps the weight down as well because obviously there's, there's there's less rubber used there. And then it is a rubber cup sole again, and so similar to this one. Similar to that, similar to Holcomb. You've seen obviously the, the, the outsole um, technology and how we make the outsole. So you have the different levels: TPR, rubber cup. This is a lower profile rubber cup, a bit sportier, a bit yeah. faster. Upper has the slightly different design. It's a soft shell um, look to it, and it is completely waterproof. It's a slip-on, so it's a, a sock fit, so easy oh, on, so it's easy, easy off, on, easy yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, and then the mid cup as well. So. So like I say, they are similar in terms of end use, yeah. but very much different in, in appearance. And then obviously we go to me personally, my favorite in the range is the Samaris. Yeah. Yeah, so we go to that one. So um, it looks a lot more traditional than to that one. So we back into the traditional walking type shoe styling with it is, this one. Yeah, it is a bit more traditional, but when you say styling, something that is quite nice on this is you've got a bit of an alpine look, so yeah. kind of a technical look to it with the lacing running further to the toe. So you do get a bit more adjustability um, for, on the lacing, but the key thing here is weight. Uh, yeah. You look at the whole comb compared to this, they don't look massively different, but... They, yeah, they're... There is a massive yeah. difference in weight there. So it's the a lot up. lighter. Yeah, so much lighter. So when it, when you're serving to customers and you're trying to upsell them from the Holcomb to Samaras, it's to, a good idea to maybe get them to try one on each foot yeah. and get them to walk yeah. around the shop. And I have found a lot of feedback from um, staff in store is they found it really easy to upsell because the Samaras is just so incredibly lightweight. That's great, yeah. You've got a rubber skin, but you've got the EVA midsole. So you've got a big EVA wedge, foam wedge, which you've seen already in the, the outsole. So um, EVA video. make it lighter and much more comfortable. Yeah, and loads of cushioning under, under foot. Um, you've got a lovely uh, luggy outsole, loads of tread, loads of aggression there. Without going too far, obviously, you've got a rubber toe cap, so you've got the, the best kind of toe protection. Like I say, you've got the lacing to the toe, so you've got more adjustability on the lacing. You've got a molded um, footbed, so you Maybe get the others that. are like standard, are they? They're a die cut, so it's kind of a flat EVA, yeah. whereas this you can see is molded, so it wraps around your footbed. So it gives you more support and cushioning. Yeah, an instant out of the box comfort. Yeah, great saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we all like some instant out of box comfort. But yeah, like I say, the, the key thing is that, that incredible light weight. You get loads of protection in the foot because you've got that big EVA wedge as well. Yeah, I like um, the colour popping on some of the styling as well. Is yeah. that deliberate just to give it a bit more shelf appeal? And... Yeah, it is. I mean, we've got the super safe colours in there, uh, which you'd expect, uh, but we want, you know, we want to have that, that pop, like you say. We need it to really jump off the shelf, and, and people do like a bit of colour, but what you won't find is you have overall super bright colors because footwear that's difficult yeah. um but we do have the, the pop the lines pop the laces um and even down to using on the ladies a slightly different mesh and some colors to give it a bit of a lifestyle um really nice feel to it so this you know the holcomb is our number one seller as a family is that because it sits perfect in the terms of technical spec comfort price -wise. and price yeah it, yeah. it, it ticks all the boxes but what we're found finding is that the Samaris is a very close second now um, yeah. because the value and value isn't always about being cheap. No, you know, no, this no. is a, a really good value product. Like I say, loads of cushioning, super lightweight, super comfortable um, at a great price as well. Yeah. So that covers everything from the edge point up to the Samaris. And I'm guessing that everything in the range comes in a mid and a low. Yeah, it, all of these styles mid and low, and you've you've got kids in the edge point, the Holcomb and the Samaras as well. And um, we're saying um, in the Miyagi videos, if you can scroll through, you will see a tech video about the differences between the mid and the low. So it's worth giving that a watch to yeah. go into further detail. Definitely. So now we move on to which one we're going to go to next. Is it? Uh, we can start with the Clyde the Bank. Clyde Bank. Um, so we've got the, the Clyde Bank. Uh, I mean, you can see straight away, it's a really lovely traditional looking boot. Um, the key thing here is you've got a suede mesh upper. Right, okay. So you have consumers that are, they always want leather. Right. They always want a suede mesh. And the look of it, you know, with having the lovely hardware, 
um, or the length of it. You've got abrasion on the toe. You've got so we've got a really nice rubber cup sole, um, which you know how the rubber cup sole works as the Holcomb. Um, yeah. And like I say, the upper, you've got the, the suede mesh. Um, it's just, like I said, a really nice looking traditional hiking boot. It does look more traditional. It yeah. looks more yeah. substantial. Yeah, and it's it's actually a really good seller for us as well. Um, it's been in the range for a number of seasons and it will continue to, to be, and as I say, it is so traditional. Yeah, people who worked or worked with our brand for a long time probably know the Clyde Bankers and run yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, but we also have, as kind of a partner to it, is the Bainsford. So it is a partner in terms of everything is exactly the same in terms of the boot, but you change yeah. the upper, I'm guessing, because that looks slightly different to that. Yeah, yeah, so the upper's a, a full leather upper. Right, okay. You can see it's very different. Um, and it's a, again really traditional. I mean, the the leather sales of uh, footwear it's selling fantastically well. It's another one that's been in the range for quite some time. Um, like I say, the full leather upper. It's got the same outsole as you saw with the Clyde Bank. So it's that one. So it's cup. exactly the same outsole as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, the same last as well. So it's the same fit. Yeah. Um, but the leather upper. What are the ways we can get it to such a good price point? Is it's a coated leather? So although it's termed as a, a proper leather boot, it has a very fine PU coat on the, on the upper. So it gives it a bit more protection, keeps the price a bit lower, um, but is very, very functional still. And like I say, as a leather boot, you've got a synthetic leather tongue, collar, um, really nice hardware again, nice design um, look to the upper. What are the reasons we put this in? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, some people may say, can we not have a full one piece leather rubber? Yeah. The problem is, if you do that, the price goes really. Yeah, so quickly. that's why you've got synthetic rubber in there just to yeah, complete the yeah, look, yeah. but also keep the price point down. Exactly, but yeah. the big thing here is you've got a completely clean toe. So when yeah. you look at the toe down view, it's a clean toe, traditional looking leather boot. And you'll find that status. This PU coated in this kind of price arena is what pretty much all the brands do. Right, okay. But it's for that type of customer who wants a leather tight walk and boot the leather look. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then moving on to our top of the range shoes. Yes, so then we'll go on to the Burrells. Um, they've been in the range for a little while now. It's where we, we get our Vibram outsoles. So, so this is where we finally make the jump to a Vibram rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you can see the Vibram there. I mean, Vibram's been around for a long time, as I've said in the other in set the videos. Um, yeah, uh, and right it's look at it. Oh, <laughs> it's it's kind of the benchmark of of outsoles. They use many different compounds. Um, you've got you know your, your ice trek. Uh, you've got your um, your climbing compounds. We've with this got the excess trek, so it's a really nice um, balance of, of durability and traction. Yeah, and it is kind of that somebody who knows Vibram. Will come in looking for, for yeah. Value. It's a selling. It's got selling value to have that yeah, brand yeah. name on there, isn't it? But surprisingly, less for ladies right, than okay. men. It's interesting. Um, we've we've done quite a few times. We've done a ladies Burrell and Burrell leather, but we just haven't had the the success with that, yeah. um, unfortunately. So it's not in the women's range. No, no, no. But we do have men's um, Burrell too, and the the Burrell leather. You can see the upper. You've got a really nice abrasion of the toe, the heel. You've got the three hooks there. You've got a locking hook on the flex point, so you've got loads of adjustability in the lacing. Um, and it's quite, it's a very nice, lightweight, um, vibrant, waterproof trekking boot. Yeah. So what would you sell this one customer to? Someone who's going to be doing a lot of trekking in it, wants a substantial waterproof yeah. boot, yeah. Um, but also is very keen on having the vibrant there. Yeah. 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 It is a really strong selling point. Yeah. And then somebody who's looking for the leather, We've got the Burrell leather. So same outsole, rubber toe, rubber heel, um, full grain new book leather. So basically it's like a full grain smooth leather, but they just sand the top surface off. So, so is that gives leather it... more appealing than this leather? Um, it... oh, it's, it's a strange one because some people like a smooth leather, some people like that new book leather. It gives it a velvety feel. However, if you do wax this leather yeah. with our treatment, uh, with our wax treatment, it will go quite smooth. It'll go very smooth. Um, but it's actually, it's, it's quite easy to look after, but with it being a full grain leather, you do need to look after it. Right. Um, it, I think most of you guys know you don't dry it and, and it, it, next to a radiator or something, you'd stuff it with, with paper. But this is kind of the top of the tree, because you've, you, like you say, you've got rubber heel, rubber toe, you've got a, a full grain leather upper, 
you've got the Vibram outsole, it's completely waterproof. Um, so a fantastic Vibram leather boot um, that you can use with heavier loads on longer treks on more um, uneven and, and, and rocky terrain as well. The leather shoes as well give it like a smart everyday look as well to it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. on your fashion sense. Yes, true. And the, but the key thing is everything we do has to have versatility. You know, it's, yeah. it's got to be versatile. Um, and it is, there's a real kind of hierarchy in the, the whole footwear from the edge point right through to the, the Vibram um, Burrell styles. Yeah, so basically a quick rundown. Edge point type, you'll be looking for just parks, light walking, walking the dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you're going to be doing anything a bit more substantial, trekking, and you want something lightweight for over a few days, you, put, you definitely want to go and upgrade to something like the Samaris. Yeah. And then anyone who's looking for like a leather look or wants a Vibram top of the range type shoe that Regatta offers, fully waterproof as well, you're looking towards this end with the Burrells. Yeah. But like I say, there's value in, in everything. In everything that we do. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you took a lot of information in. I hope that when a customer comes in, you can tell, sell them which shoe would be perfect for them. And it's bye from me. And bye from me. Thank you. Thank you.